Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. If you're new, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my painting videos and um, yeah, painting tutorials, other painting or other videos related to paintings. So today is Black Saturday and I just want to do another painting before uh, we celebrate Easter Sunday tomorrow. So as you can see here, my canvas is already painted um, brown and orange and tiny bits of yellow. That's because I just, I simply painted over an old an old painting of mine that I don't like anymore. And I've been doing this for the past few days. I've been recycling a lot of my paintings that I don't really like anymore. So yeah, the background has nothing to do with the uh, painting that uh, we'll be doing today. But uh, it is somehow related. The color is somehow related because we'll be doing a fall um, forest scene, like an autumn forest scene. So let's begin now. I'll be telling you first the colors that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial. We have here lots of um, mid yellow or lemon yellow, titanium white, burnt sienna, orange, yellow ochre, and black. I'll be sketching first the subject and let's proceed so for the sketch i'll start first with the background sky um i told you guys that the color of my um over painting is uh not related to is not important to the painting that we'll be doing today because a lot of it will be covered with another color so let's proceed first with the sky i'm gonna use my white I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to gray the color. And I'm just gonna use it to paint over the upper portion of the canvas so that um, it becomes suggestive of the background sky. Yeah, up to here up to here okay I'm sorry if you're not yet okay also here this corner will be the most important part when it comes to showing the sky so you don't have to cover this area because we will cover that with another color, okay, not white or not gray. So just this area. All right, I'm gonna allow this first to dry. If you want, you can actually layer over it. Okay, I'm gonna add tiny bit of blue. I did not say blue during the intro of this video. So get your primary blue. Just a tiny bit of it, okay? So just a tiny bit, just to um, make the sky quite blue or bluish, like that. And blend it with the white. You don't want a blue sky, really. Um, just a hint of blue in the sky. And by doing this, you second layer the sky painting as well right like this okay we started with the sky and now let's proceed to sketching the main subject which is the forest but the background, the background sky has something to do with the atmosphere of the painting. Um, the background sky will tell the viewer or the audience or the setting. It will tell the audience about the setting of the painting and that is um, a day setting or a sunny day, something like that. Okay, I'm just going to extend it 
Again, this area will be covered with foliage, so I'm not really covering it with the sky color. I'm trying to really hide the brownness of the painting or the underpainting that I had. All right, like this. I think this is enough because this will be covered with paint anyway. All right, so that's just suggestive of the sky color. Let's proceed to the foreground. So for that, I'm going to do first the tree trunks. We'll be doing some forest, um, uh, forest scene. So I'm going to get my black. I'm gonna add burnt sienna make sure that it's more dominantly black and I'm just gonna create some suggestion of tree trucks okay just be careful with this part because the paint might be or the paint is still wet most likely it is wet So just gently um, use your brush in doing the sketch for the tree trunks. All right, like that. Okay, I hope it's not too dark for you guys. All right, here as well. I think I'm just gonna open the window. All right, <laughs> I just have <laughs> okay. I had to walk over the painting. <laughs> All right, like this. All right, like that. And then I'm going to make more tree trunks in the background. Also get ready with your palette knife because we'll be using our palette knives later. So another tree in the background. You know, even if we're doing the tree trunks, this will be covered with the foliage um, colors later. But let's just make sure that they are there. You know, it's. We don't want to imagine things that they're there. We want to see things that they're there. Okay. So I'm just going to cover this area with black. This will be suggestive of more tree trunks in the background. Um, Again, I keep mentioning that I always start my painting with an abstract style. All right, like this. So everything is just suggestive of what is there. okay all right now i'm gonna do the foliage i'm gonna start the foliage right away or before we do that let's just create some hints of tree branches so i'm gonna get a more pointy brush so get your pointy brush get your black and brown if you want 
just create some suggestion of tree branches they should be a little thin or a little thinner than the tree trunks you can go random you know it's quite cloudy outside that's why I had to open my windows just to have a good light or better light and yeah I hope it's working for all of you So just keep creating some branches. All right, like that. Okay, that's basically the shape of the painting. Now let's do the foliage, which is the most exciting part. So get your fan brush. Oh, sorry. <laughs> get your fan brush. This one. Let's start creating the foliage. And for that, we'll be doing some autumn scene. So get your yellow, all right? Pure yellow, like this, mid yellow. I'm gonna add tiny bit of burnt sienna. All right, like this. Burnt sienna, okay, like this. And again, yellow, just adjust the color until you reach this creamy color. And then I'm gonna use this to create or start creating foliage we will be using a little bit of sap green later but only a little bit of it you can actually add more sap green if you want uh -huh. i think i'll be adding more sap green But I can always change my mind, right? All right, so just add this color first, and then we'll be layering um, colors. So again, just paint over, or no, 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 uh, make some overlapping um, brush strokes or brush marks. Make sure that they overlap the tree branches and the tree trunk so that it looks more natural and make the shapes of the leaves quite random and even and yeah just make it look more natural this is the first color that we'll be using we'll be using more of the yellowy color or browny color or orangey color later for now let's just start with this color step by step guys step by step And also make sure that you leave spaces in between foliage. You don't want to do just uh, solid colors. You, there should be in between. Uh, there should be spaces in between the foliage. These are negative spaces. We will use black and white to suggest some spaces between them. Okay. Now let's move down here.
okay and while I'm at it all right I'm just gonna use this color to add that on the foreground Okay, I think I'm going to open the windows a little more. So can you wait, guys? Okay, so I opened the windows. <laughs> To get some brighter light okay just apply that same color right on the foreground okay and be random here you don't have to think too much when you do this step just be random enjoy the uh, enjoy the uh, what do you call this enjoy the not so not so strict brush strokes that we're doing pretty much like an abstract it doesn't follow anything it's just random all right now let's get our yellow or lemon yellow added to the yellow brown mixture just add more yellow this time okay and then use that color to go back to the foliage here as well okay all right again we will be doing this layer by layer get your orange and mix it with the existing yellowy brownie color add yellow again maybe add black to tone down the color like this maybe add more yellow okay maybe this color and again let's move back to the foliage And when you do that to the foliage, you also do it down here. We'll be adding some more depth later because we're actually doing some light colors. We'll be adding black and greens later to add more depth to this 
um, painting. For now, let's just do uh, step by step. One layer at a time. All right, now I'm gonna add black to this color, okay? This will also serve as the shadow, okay? Just add black to that existing color of the foliage. I'm gonna try this one out. Okay, maybe I'm gonna add more black, still too light. Okay, maybe this is the color. Okay, and in the same manner, apply it on the foreground quite randomly as well. This will be like shadow, like that. Because we will be doing some light play later. Okay, like this. Alright, like that. Alright, now I'm gonna get my gray. So to create gray, I'm just gonna get my white and black. And brown a little bit of brown I'm gonna use that to highlight this tree and also here we're starting to create suggestions of light And also here. And also here on this tree. Also here. Okay, like that. All right, definitely it's not yet done. This is not the exact thing that we want for this painting. Now I'm gonna get my pure lemon yellow. Okay, I'm gonna add white to the yellow. Just add white so that it's like creamy white or, or creamy yellow. And use this again to make some highlighted leaves. And 
and use this in areas near the sunlight. Okay, more yellows on the foreground to suggest highlighted portion of the soil and here we'll be using our palette knife later to add more texture to the foreground for now let's just use our, our brush a regular brush Okay, now I'm gonna get my orange. I'm gonna mix that with yellow. Make sure it's more yellow than orange. Maybe I'm gonna add yellow ochre. And I'm gonna go and in the same manner, I'm just gonna apply the color. Make sure to apply as well on top of the shadow. Okay, okay I'm going to get my yellow. Okay, I'm gonna get my black so I'm gonna get my black and brown mix them together and let's add some depth this will suggest the dirt of the soil because it cannot be the soil cannot just be yellow and greens no, there should be some sort of um, dirt going on because that's just how it is. Gonna add that color to this side. Okay, using black and brown, I'm just gonna go in between the foliage again just to add more depth and volume and shadows as well. And negative spaces, these negative spaces will suggest um, dimension. yellows just keep going guys just make them quite loose and you know always leave some space space is important
see. Okay, let's go back to the foreground. I'm gonna get black. Right here. Okay. All right. Before we add more light to this, wash your brush out. Now I want you to get your white and start creating some hints of sky. Hints of the sky. Like the presence of the sky in the background. We want that. The light is coming to, from the center of the forest. And I'm gonna use white and yellow to again create more highlights on the foreground. I'm going to use my yellow ochre Okay, now I'm going to add some, um, what do you call that, um, branches. because the branches got painted over when we did the foliage. Now let's correct the shape of 
the trees Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get my palette knife because as I told you guys during the intro of this video, we'll be using our palette knife. We are not yet doing the light. We'll do that later. We'll do that later. We'll be doing more of the foliage and the foreground. So I'll be getting my palette knife, dab it onto my yellow and burnt sienna together. I'm not really blending together. I'm just letting the two colors touch the palette knife and I'm just gonna use this to create texture. Okay, now I'm gonna touch on the black. And I don't mind the mixing of the brown, it's all right. I'm just gonna do in the same manner, apply the color using the palette knife. Okay, now I'm gonna touch my brown or burnt sienna in the same manner. I'm gonna use my palette knife as well to uh, create some details on the tree trunks. So I'm gonna dab onto my black. And I'm gonna spread up and down like that to create that pattern on the tree trunks so that they don't look like flat objects. Okay, now I'm going to cover this area because it kind of looks weird to me. Okay, I'm just going to paint over like overlapping brush strokes or brush marks on the tree branches that I just created. We don't want it to be seen, the whole thing. We just want uh, a suggestion of the tree branches. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. Let's add white. Add some dark browns here. yellows
Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get my hair dryer. I just want to dry things quite quickly. So you see my hair dryer, excuse the noise. I think that will do although we really had a thick amount of paint I'm just gonna use a clean brush use your clean brush wet it make sure that there's a good amount of water in your paintbrush dab onto your white okay dab onto your white again and we're going to glaze now you don't have to use a glazing medium for this step we're just gonna redo what we've done already but we're going to make the paint spread wide, longer, and more even. Okay, again, use your water down white. To spread the paint. And also here. Okay, and use that also along this area. Okay, and also here. I'm going to add a little bit of blue, like that, just add a little bit of blue, like this, okay, and also on the foreground, just make it look more blurry. And then just pure white. Okay. And then some yellow. orange just a mixture of everything on our palette right. 
I hope you can still see that. Yeah. All right. It's good. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to glaze using my using my yellow. Okay. Sorry about that. So I'm going to get my pure yellow. Okay, and we're going to glaze on the foreground. So using this yellow, I'm just going to go and highlight some areas on the foreground. Remember that we're just glazing. We're not really painting over uh, the paint that we already had. We don't want to remove that paint. This is just a suggestion of light. Okay, I'm going to get my black. And using the same manner or using the same method, we're just gonna glaze, okay, on the shadowy portion. suggestion Like that. All right, and now I'm gonna get yellow. I'm gonna get my yellow, and I'm gonna highlight that part of the trees with some foliage. Oh, I'm gonna highlight that part of the foliage near the near the light source. So just glaze it again. I hope it's not too dark for you to see. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Right? This is good. So I think we're done. I'm going to turn on the light just to make sure that you see it. Yeah, okay. So I think we're done, guys. This is, I think this is good. So I'm going to add more brown, I think. If you want to add more brown, just to add more depth, you can do that. I'm gonna get a bit of orange okay. a bit of yellow here and there 
so there are really really uh, a lot of fallen leaves here So I'm also using white and I'm applying that white randomly, especially um, down, especially near the foreground. So just like me, you can actually obsess over this um, for as long as you want. Like that. Okay, let me check. Gonna add a little bit of white right here. good guys right so I think this is good again hints of sky in the background by adding white
This is obsession. Okay, I told I told you guys that I'll be using a little bit of green. So to create green, I'm just I'm just gonna mix my black plus yellow ochre plus yellow. I don't think I have black. Yeah, that's why I'm not really creating that color. So just get a little bit of sap green. Just add a little bit of green to the leaves. Okay, because even if it's already fall, there are some green leaves that are still there. So just add a little bit of green here and there. And on this area as well. Not too much. Let me check. All right, that's better. Okay, I'm just gonna obsess over the light play. So many layers of that color. I think the more we apply layers, the more the foliage become really, really look or appear uh, thick, which I like. I kind of like it. All right, this is done guys. This is so, like a lot of leaves going on. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now. I'm gonna sign right here. So I'm gonna use my, oh, I don't know, blue or green. I'm just gonna sign right here. It's not really visible. I'm gonna sign right here. It should be visible. At least to me. Okay, so we're done guys. We're done! Oh my gosh! So pretty, right? It's so nice. 
So I think this is done and I hope you enjoyed this one. So we had a new team today. Even if it's a landscape, it's still um, it's an autumn um, scene. So I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you, you do this one as well. Let me know in the comment section below or on Facebook if you're following or if you're painting along with me. Show me your renditions of this painting or my other painting tutorials. And see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.